Hello guys, welcome back to this new adventure here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch the first episode of this first season of Shadow's House. But before starting this video, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me, and join me in this adventure, join me in this season one, because this summer season two is coming, so can't wait for that. Okay, I don't know anything about this story, I just watched the randomly the first trailer of the first season, and I watched even the trailer of season two, but I didn't understand anything, <laughs> of course. But anyway, it's time to check out this first episode. I can't wait to join this adventure also because I've heard so many great words about this. Let's see what's going to happen. Are you ready to join me with this? Check it out. Okay, this is a house. <laughs> Is there like a sort of curse on this house? Because they are all shadows, so... There has to be a reason why they are all shadows. I don't know why, but this reminds me of a Madoka Magica or Magia Rekodo's style. <laughs> so creepy, so strange. Let's see. Oh, but how many are there? Oh, this music is creepy. Oh, but these are not shadows. Uh... Living doll? What? So these people are used by these shadows? Well, this, yeah, this is the blonde girl we saw in the trailer, but also a few seconds ago. Well, so she's supposed to eat that? I mean, this seems as if they are confined into a jail or something. So yeah, she's supposed to be the maid. Whoa! But where are these uh, people coming from? I mean, they reached uh, this uh, palace, this uh, house. How and why? <laughs> Let's see, maybe this time this living doll is good. 
I mean, maybe she can get in touch with her better than what happened since this moment. Uh, in fact, she can't. <laughs> We needed to understand why they turned into shadows. It, did she stop another shadow now? What happened? And so they also have a two different languages. Oh. I know, I thought that it was an important doll. <laughs> but she's talking about her in the third person. Again. I don't know why, but I, but I have the feeling that right now everything is so peaceful and fine, but sooner or later... Uh, you're a living doll. But at the beginning, they were drinking something before becoming living dolls. What? In fact, she has the same hairstyle. <laughs> Yeah, who created it? Exactly. Oh! Uh, okay, it's a yes. Uh, otherwise, she would have uh, answered. Uh, so that's the problem. Uh. But this girl, this blonde haired girl, seems a human being. Not at all. I mean, now I understood, but... What? She's hungry. Yeah, <laughs> uh, because she has, she has to eat something. <laughs> Yeah, but she received just a piece of bread, I mean, and it was already expired, I guess. That's definitely different, huh? Exactly. <laughs> But she offered you, so... Well, the more she says this thing, the more it's getting creepier here. <laughs> Why are you so enthusiastic to do something like this? I mean, I would have kept asking her the questions, y'all. Until you eat uh, that kind of bread she had so far, of course she is an enthusiast. <laughs> uh, 
And I think that this uh, feeling will disappear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she knows many things, but she can't tell her. And we can't see her reaction because we can't see her face. So. Then what kind of book is she reading? Because this doll can't read what's inside, otherwise it would have been great to open it. They can't even do anything rather than this. I mean... Uh, oh, she's uh, teaching her how to read, so then later she can read uh, those uh, papers. Uh, Maybe it's better if you don't know how to read at this point. Oh... I still believe that this enthusiasm is going to disappear sooner or later. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's something good uh, to wait for that moment. <laughs> Wow, it's all beach black over there. What happened? Well, I don't... What the F? But why everything is falling apart? I mean, these black pieces that are falling from top to bottom. <laughs> I don't know why, but... And why those papers are over there? Oh, so she's uh, mature enough to have one. Why she said, am I a detective, y'all? This is creepy anyway. I mean, I will tell you later in the commentary, but... <laughs> No, no, maybe some. Uh, uh, see, and uh, why you don't need? Uh, but for for a second, you could see the face. Uh. She's making the same, uh, yeah. I mean, it's like as if she lost her identity, she sacrificed her identity for something, and that's why she needs a doll to play with her, to be like her. Uh, 
Exactly. In fact, she seems to be a human being. <laughs> Oh, no, don't say that. Maybe it's something bad. Huh? And that's already another hint. Huh? Hey, is this a good sign or a bad sign? <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice name, yeah. Make us proud. Hey, make us proud. Well, what does it mean? Uh, no, 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 look, uh, she reminds me of Rico in Made in Abyss. Uh, she was so enthusiastic at the beginning and then... Uh, Oh, but that's not a shadow, yo! Okay, guys, this is the first episode finished. Okay, it seems pretty interesting, let me tell you honestly. Uh, and I don't think that the plot is uh, so poor as it seems in this first episode. I mean, uh, that it's so clear, that everything is uh, so evident, uh, and it's uh, something to have fun and stuff like that. No, I think that the more we will go on with this story, the more it will become creepier. <laughs> that's what I feel. Maybe, even at the beginning, I was uh, telling you the feeling that I was feeling that means uh, it seems uh, a little bit like uh, Magia Recodo or uh, Madoka Magica these uh, creepy feelings you feel the more you go on uh, as much as even the style like the train that was moving that was going inside of this house uh, and then you see everything that happened especially the first the scenes are so essential for us to understand that these are living dolls created for this purpose that means to stay next to one of the members of these shadows of family in order to be what they are not sincerely because even uh, what Kate was uh, saying uh, is pretty important I mean she was uh, making uh, her hair up uh, she was uh, helping Emily Co to be like her but the reason why they are doing this of course it's still an enigma we still have to understand it but it seems as if uh, Kate uh, lost her identity somehow and she's uh, turned into a shadow and that's why she needs uh, her counterpart I mean she needs uh, something as a mirror or something as a reflection of what she could have been but she can't be and that's why there is uh, this living doll that is uh, doing everything she wants that is uh, dressing the same things she wants uh, etc etc i mean it seems as if uh, there is a dark background story of these shadows family and we needed to get in touch with this but what i feel uh, suspicious the most uh, is how these uh, creatures uh, i don't know how to call them how these entities or whatsoever they are turned into living dolls because they seem human beings uh, especially when uh, they were uh, moving themselves before drinking these sort of a potion or something they were moving so I thought at the beginning that they were human beings who were transformed into these living dolls so they could work inside of these shadows family 
and they could take care of the members. But what Katie is saying is that they, they were transformed into living dolls as soon as they were drinking this potion, but before they were dolls, then couldn't move. So thanks to this potion, they are becoming living dolls. Which one of the two is right? Because I definitely remember that they were moving themselves before drinking this potion. And one of these um, candidates was this girl, Emily Cole, that we see even at the beginning of the episode because she's having this blonde hair. Or is that blonde hair girl we see at the beginning of the episode, Kate? who was transformed into a shadow and she was losing her identity by drinking this. I don't know which one of the two, because we see that Kate has the same hairstyle as Emiliko. She is uh, almost the same. So that's why this story is becoming interesting, because we needed to know. We need to know more. <laughs> and when Emiliko was asking her, am I a detective? What does that mean? Uh, I don't understand. Uh, the interesting thing is that Emiliko and Kate, they have never gone out from this house. Uh, so when she's opened the window for the first time, Emiliko is seeing other uh, people, other... I don't know how to call them because they are not shadows, as you could see. This person, this girl who's turning, you can definitely see her face. So it's not a shadow. So who's that? Plus, we see that Emily Co in her room has some papers over there, but she can't read the language because it's something that she can't understand. And now that Kate is helping her reading these notes, I mean, helping her understanding the language, I am afraid about this. I mean, maybe the more she is getting in touch with this language, the more she's going to discover something creepy, something bad happening in that house. I wonder if she will be able to tell us something before the end of season one. But I'm sure that those notes are not something good. I mean, they were taken for granted just because they were hanging over there and Emiliko thought, okay, they're just a piece of paper. But the fact that she couldn't read them, it already makes you understand that once she will discover what's written over there, many secrets regarding this family are coming out and I can't wait for that. Another thing I want to say is that I don't understand why Kate turned into a shadow. I mean, uh, what was the price for do something like this? Uh, I told you that maybe she lost her identity because she was uh, sacrificing herself for something else. And we definitely need to know the more we go on. Another thing I want to say is why these uh, shadows uh, family exists. I mean, what's the purpose of this family? Why do they need every time someone leaving dolls next to them? Yeah, I understood what Kate is saying, but is that the only explanation or do we have other explanations that are still untold? Of course, uh, this is episode one, I'm just trying to guess, but the more Emiliko was asking questions to her, the more Kate didn't want to answer, and we see her frustration, even if we can't see her face. The interesting point of this story is that you can see this black steam that is coming out from her brain, I mean her head, and it's symbolizing different states of mind, I mean different moods and different feelings that can be quite bad, as she was saying. So this is already another hint that we shouldn't take it for granted. But yeah, this is something I don't understand. Why this family is, I don't want to say cursed, but more or less that that's what I mean. Why this family has this problem? Why there is an entire family that turned into shadows? Another interesting thing is, yeah, these are roles of these living dolls. Why do they need a living doll? why they need help thanks to them to take care of the house okay maybe because they were they were rich but is there another explanation um, do we need to go on with this story to know more about this yes of course <laughs> but uh, what happened uh, to all these people uh, this is so interesting let me tell you and as i was telling you yeah 
Emiriko, she reminds me of a Rico in uh, Made in Abyss because even a Rico is so enthusiast, she can't wait to do this, she can't wait to do that. Yeah, I'm smiling, smiling, and smiling, and then uh, there is the descendants to hell. So let's see if um, the path of Emiriko is the same as a Rico, more or less. But, this is so interesting and now we understand that she's not the only one over there as a living doll of course because Kate explained us that every member who is uh, having a coming out of age uh, he or she can have a living doll um, so I think that even that girl she saw at the end of the episode maybe she's another living doll or maybe she's a, a more expert living doll, so she can understand many more things than Emily can't. Okay, I think that for the moment that, that is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this first episode together with me, guys. See you next week with episode 2 of Shadow's House. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.